If there's anyone that knows grief, it's me. I know how to grieve. I'm a licensed therapist because of my grief. I would definitely say take time and process your needs. Self-care is very important. And oftentimes with grief, clinically and personally, we want to rush to the finish line, finish line and get over this feeling, this over this horrible feeling of grief. We want to get past it. But it's a slow process. It's a marathon, not a race. You have to seek help, uh, counseling, individual and family. Um, make sure there's a support system, nurturing individuals in your, in your immediate circle that can provide help. And don't be afraid to ask for assistance. And count every day as a new day to start over. Because if you release yourself from some of those responsibilities, you are a grieving person that's doing life. Healing begins with the soul. The strongest thing that you can do is be vulnerable. Don't allow the person you were before you became a grieving individual to override the possibility of healing in the future and, and getting better and healing from the grief. We are now post COVID. The way we were is not how we can exist now. We all actually qualify as post-traumatic stress survivors because of what we've experienced. Do not be shy about receiving or getting therapy from a licensed clinician or a certified coach. Meaning and purpose in life. Often times we ignore that as a part of our treatment plan but we've got to get back to finding those things that brought us joy. And that is my biggest recommendation. Where do you find your joy? That's at the heart of it.